Hey guys, Keith again. Today I'm doing a video response to Blade Ops Zippo giveaway video. I figured what better way to respond to a Zippo giveaway than with a Zippo video. Today I'm going to show you how to mod a Zippo to have a lanyard attachment point. A few years ago I had a roommate who had a hiker model Zippo or a camper's model and it had a little almost D-ring inserted into the hinge where you could attach things like a bottle opener or a lanyard. And that came in really handy. Never lost it at the bar, never lost it when we were out camping. I searched high and low for a Zippo that had that little little clip in it. I could not find one. So eventually I decided to, to start modding and see what I could come up with. First thing you're going to need a Zippo. I use a small pin vise with a, a pretty hefty sewing needle in it. Basically all you do is insert into the, the hinge area and whack a few times with a hammer and you'll end up popping the pin out. At this point the Zippo comes apart pretty easily so just remove the inside and set that over there. So here's what we end up with is the Zippo shell. Uh, for this mod I'm going to use a paper clip. Uh, we really don't need a whole lot of strength. Paper clip is just the perfect diameter. Uh, you could use brass wire, anything that'll that'll hold a shape pretty much. So, first thing I want to do is bend out the paper clip and figure out the longest part. And that's going to be this middle section, I think. So, we'll clip off one end and the other end. And that leaves us this little chunk here. All right, now to get our length right, what we're gonna do is slide the paper clip into where the hinge used to be. As you can see, we now have a fully functioning hinge again. So, you wanna take the paper clip and pretty much guess the halfway point on the hinge. Put a nice sharp bend in it. Now what you're going to have to do here is kind of figure out where you want the apex of your clip to be. If you want a little bit longer clip, make the sides longer. If you want a little stouter clip, make them shorter. That looks about good for what I want to do with this one. So now that you've figured out the angle, you find the middle point and bend back down. Okay, at this point you want to bend it a little past center. Okay, now you find where the, the wire will insert into the hinge and give a 90 degree bend. Okay, that should bring things pretty, pretty tight. Um, here, I like to put a little lateral tension and open up this little gap a little bit. All right, now we can pull this out and trim to the middle. I find it's it's pretty much the best idea to to have both of them meet in the middle rather than have one side longer than the other. Um, feel free to experiment however you want. This is just how I do it. Kind of hard with these Leatherman pliers. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna pop one leg off and then the other. I mean, this isn't rocket science, so it's gonna be okay no matter what we do, as long as we get it in the, in the hinge. All right, so you can see, hopefully, I have one side that's a little longer, one side that's a little shorter. Let's insert the longer end in. 
the hinge and then we can kind of take the pliers and wrestle that other side in okay not perfect but it's serviceable put the insides back in and there we go of course you'll fiddle with the the alignment a bit pull the inside out make sure everything fits just so at this point you can be a little a little more aggressive with the bending all right there we go one zippo with a lanyard attachment all right guys i uh, hope you thought this was at least interesting um, and thanks blade ops for for putting out a contest all right have a good night